Hey, uh, I'm privileged to have my buddy Dean Kane. This is the first JC Films Live. We couldn't do it without uh, the first one being uh, um, my good friend and just a great friend to JC Films. Uh, Dean Kane, thank you for being here, buddy. Jason, the only reason I'm doing this right now is because you're wearing the Superman shirt. <laughs> Otherwise, there's just that that's one precondition that I had. Um, and I'm very happy to see. No, I'm very happy to be here with you, brother. Dean and I have this running joke. So when I called him yesterday, hey, would you do the first show with me? We have this thing. I guess it was a couple of years ago. We um, we had to do this promo piece for something. I love filmmaking. I love storytelling, but I am not an actor. And we had to do this thing. And I had to read lines opposite him. I had to memorize lines. We had to sit there. This thing was the hardest thing I had ever done. And uh, so we have this funny thing. And when he asked me who was hosting and I said, me, uh, he wasn't going to miss it. Just to no. <laughs> But I got to be honest, I'm completely disappointed. You seem very comfortable and relaxed right now. And I'm just, I'm beside myself with, uh, I'm just bummed out because I just <laughs> fully expected you to tighten up. And now you're just being normal, Jason. And I don't even know what to do with it. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, so just excited you're here. So, you know, with JC Films and everything that we have going on, you know, I met Dean about four or five years ago. Um, and I just shared with him my passion. I said, you know, I want to change, I want to make films to change the culture. It's, it's, I'm not looking to make a blockbuster hit. I'm not looking, uh, you know, Jesus told stories under trees and he changed the world. So how can we do that? And, uh, we started talking about that. He said, well, just sign me up for, for one. And then we became friends and then it just started snowballing after that. But one of the things Dean and I talk about a lot is storytelling. And I know there's a lot of listeners out there because story's king. You hear that all the time, but from why is story king? Why is it so important? Well, it's important because that's all at the end of the day, I don't care how many special effects you have or how many things can blow up or how many people you can throw through a building. If you don't care about the characters, like I don't care about a lot of the Marvel characters and things of that nature, then you don't care about the story because it doesn't grasp you and there's nothing in there that, that makes you interested. We as individuals, as human beings can understand one person's story and plight in the middle of a war that tells a story that you can empathize with and understand and that gets the point across. Um, a lot of the films that we do at JC Films and the things that we're involved in would never get made by Hollywood. They wouldn't make it because it's not a blockbuster film. It's not some big giant epic, you know, it's, and, and it's, it's a story of, of an individual, someone's story that otherwise wouldn't be told. And I think that there's power in everybody's story being told and something we can learn from everybody. And so I enjoy telling these smaller stories that are really engaging and stories about people and stories about faith. And there, to me, you know, when you're telling stories of faith, there are no better stories because that you have all the drama you'll ever need when you have to turn to faith. No, that's all good stuff. Um, I appreciate that. I, I, I love what we do. I love the fact that people come to us and say, Hey, I've written a book or, Hey, this happened in my church or this happened in my community. Uh, can you guys make a film on it? Um, and we're, of course, with, you know, so many films that we have out there right now. And I believe we are changing the culture, but, you know, one of the things I know the folks that are watching this, that are part of JC films have been in some of our films before, you know, the big question that probably you get from faith-based um, actors and actresses is, is how do you do this? I mean, uh, and how would you recommend it? I mean, uh, you know, from your experience with God's not dead to a lot of the faith and family films, I mean, hundreds of these things that you've been involved in, how do how do they get involved, and what what should what should people do that are believers and they want to get involved in Christian films or faith and family films? I mean, uh, I know that's a, a hard question to ask, but just something real quick to give them hope. Well, you know, there are there are groups of people and there are companies like your your own, Jason, that that make make these films and and involve the community. You know, when we make a family film, a family based community based film, we really make a family-based, community-based film where someone's coming over delivering craft service that they made in their kitchen um, and all the extras are family members and friends of, 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 of the people who, you know, who are telling the story and the communities come together. Obviously there's money that's involved and, 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 and resources of, of if it's just, if it's camera gear, if it's bodies, if it's hands on deck, whatever it happens to be. Um, communities come together. And that's what you can do. You can t deal with local organizations, local companies, or companies like your own. Like you make these films for a, uh, a number that Hollywood wouldn't even 
consider and you know it's that's the, the there's a reason for that because if you keep the number low you can you can actually turn a profit or at least break even and uh get more more of the stories out there and that's that's a really difficult model to come up with it's a lot of work uh but but at the end of the day i think it's it's worth it yeah i do too i i um i really enjoy what we do and i'm just grateful yourself being involved in what we're doing and um this you know the projects that you guys say hey one quick question what do you think with uh the films that you've been a part of what's your favorite what's my favorite one what do you, what do you if you can remember it <laughs> i i couldn't tell you one from the other i have no idea uh hard to say you know um um because i haven't i haven't watched all of them i'll be dead honest i haven't seen them yeah. all um um I don't know that I have. I mean, I really did enjoy Break Every Chain because as yeah. a police officer, that's lovely, and there were some great moments in there um, um, that 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 were just 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 good, strong moments where you're you're being tested, and 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 I do love the angle of the of the police officer and the, and the struggles that police officers go through of being an officer myself. Uh, so I did enjoy that film. Um, I don't. I'd have to. I'd have to run down and go through it to give you a really good. I answer. guess. I can't believe you came up with these questions. Where someone's helping you. You my, are being my, my wife. My wife is actually. You right are there. being coached. This is a performance of. I'm going to give you an. I'm going to give you the. This is my. I have this. I got this from my son. But I'm going to give it to you for best actor. Uh, this is your best performance uh, and the most calm performance I've seen. Um, you give on camera i don't even know what's going well, I've, on i've been practicing i've been practicing all morning and my wife is being very loving to me so i'm very i'm very i think i did well too but um hey i, I wanted to move on to one thing we've got this funny game even this you're moving right on i mean you're just keeping it flowing i can't wow i got a little microphone here i know i die in the I, backdrop my wife got all that done for me black and orange jc films of course yeah. Yeah. um Brilliant. So we have a, a, a segment of the show that we have. It's called um, na uh, Name That Prop. It's, uh, we it's have not... that segment now. We haven't had it before, but here it is. <laughs> uh, so it, it's called, uh, and I'm sorry, it's not called Name That Prop, but we scratched that. Now we're going with uh, Pop Quiz, not uh, Pop Quiz, but... Prop Quiz. Prop Quiz, that's it. <laughs> Come on, Jason, it was right there. <laughs> Prop quiz. So well. prop so quiz. The, 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 people can uh i'm gonna give them a prop and they're gonna basically look at it and say hey what film was this in uh what movie was this in and then at the bottom they can put in what their guess is of what film they thought the prop was in uh they're walking to repeat other people's too and then we're gonna get those names put them in a, a, a bucket and every month we're gonna draw a name and give that person an opportunity to be in one of our films so it's a, it's a way if someone can win you know, a role in one of our films and it's, and it's going to have a speaking part. Wow. So, um, right. so our, our first prop of, of the game, which is called prop quiz, not pop quiz, uh, is right up here. And it's, um, <laughs> it's actually from a film that you, that you helped us in. Uh, Boaz, Bo Perez is mayor. So if you can name underneath here, just write down and say, hey, Jason, I know what film that's in. And the film was this. We're gonna I know what name. film it was in. Do you? <laughs> I do. Because I, I played him. You did. And you get a speaking part. And I, I got a speaking you. part. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. I like the pro I like prop quiz. That's that's very well done. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, Dean, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a friend of JC Films and, and basically putting us on the map and putting us where we are. We, we couldn't be here without you. So we're very, very grateful. Thank you. I'm honored to be a, a small part of helping you tell the stories, my friend. Thank you. Um, can't wrap it up, can you? <laughs> can't wrap it up. You're so close right there. And then whoop, swing and a miss. All right. Let's, uh, let's have you wrap it up. And then I, I do know how to hit the end button. Excellent. Perfect. Well, thank you everybody for watching this inaugural uh, show for JC Films and for participating in Prop Quiz. Hopefully you get it right. I'll give you a hint. I was in the movie. Uh, <laughs> that is it. We'll see you next time uh, here at JC Films. Cheers.
All right. How to end a show. Oh, sorry. I was making notes from Dean Kane on how to end a show. So, hey, thank you, Dean, for being a part of the program. Uh, this particular section that we're getting into now is a section we're calling What's Happening? What's Happening with JC Films? And so I just want to share with you a few things that are happening that you can get involved in. Uh, next week, starting on Sunday, starting this weekend, we'll start filming our new movie called Ghost Trader. That's with the Orlando Production Club. Also, uh, on the same day that we start production on that, we are doing a demo reel program in Orlando. So if you don't have a professional demo reel, this is a program that JC Films offers. It offers it all across the country. So check into that if you want to get a professional demo reel done. In addition to that, we have our acting workshops that are going on. We have an acting workshop in Tampa. Uh, then we'll be doing an acting workshop in Tulsa, Oklahoma and another Christian acting workshop in Jacksonville, Florida, first part of February. So these are just different ways to get involved. But if you want to learn more about JC Films or start a production club in your town, just visit jcfilms.org. Thank you, guys.